Steven? What the hell is this? I need an explanation. What are you talking about? What's the matter? I received a reminder letter from a bank. It is addressed to you. Oh, that. Did you borrow money? When? I had my reasons. I'm sorry, I've been so busy I've forgotten to tell you. What reasons could there be to borrow such a large amount of money? You have $35,000 of debt? I do, actually. $35,000 is a lot to repay. Why did you borrow money? There were a lot of expenditures. I couldn't make ends meet on my salary. So I ended up borrowing money. Okay, and what did you spend that money on? You know, to do things. What exactly? I will have no mercy unless you give me the details. I spent it to go out for drinks and to play slot machines. And to go to strip clubs. Are you out of your mind? You don't borrow money to go out and have fun. I can replay in installments anyway. I'll figure it out. That's not the point. We don't have any money to spare even though we both work. You can't hold down any job long enough to get a raise. You have a shitty job too. You only make a thousand dollars a month. Your job doesn't pay well either. With your income, we don't know when we can pay off the debt. Oh, really? You borrowed money without thinking about it. Please, Amanda. Please do something. You were going to depend on me from the beginning, weren't you? Kinda. You're a dependable older wife. How dependent are you? I spoiled you too much because you're younger than me. I'm sure you'll manage to pay off the debt. I believe in you, Amanda. I'm so sorry about the debt. Are you? Really? I will do anything to make up for it when I get home. I'm really sorry. I promise I won't ever borrow money again. You can't undo borrowing the money. We can only pay it off. But this is the last time I forgive you. I know I'm too easy on you. But you don't get a second chance. Thank you, Amanda. I will work hard, too. It won't be easy to repay $35,000, though. We'll have to work multiple jobs. Can we do that? We have to work in our spare time between work. So we don't have any days off? Wow. <laughs> There's no other way. You have to work with me, too. I know. I will work hard. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Not only on our days off, but we'll also schedule a shift before and after work we already have. We'll get paid more if we work in the early mornings and late at night. So don't expect me to do housework. I'll do the chores then. Yes. We'll pay off the debt within three years, no matter what. Can we? It's going to be hard, but we have to do it. The longer time it takes to pay it off, the more interest we'll have to pay. It's better to pay it off as soon as we can, even if we have to make sacrifices. You're intelligent, Amanda. That's what makes you dependable. Anyway, our goal is to pay off the debt within three years. No extravagance until we pay it off. Got it? How much is considered extravagant? No beer, no going out for drinks, no gambling, no going out on the weekends for a while. Wow. You deserve it. You're the one who borrowed money. You have to take responsibility for it. I know. Six months later. It's midnight. When are you coming home? I'm coming home now. Where have you been so late at night? I was out drinking with my coworkers. What? Why? You're not allowed to go out for drinks, remember? What do you think you're doing? Cutting loose? Please make an exception. My coworker is getting married. My coworkers and I were celebrating. You understand I can't miss a celebration party, right? Oh boy. If that's the case, I understand. But just don't tell me after it happened. It makes me feel betrayed. Tell me beforehand if you have a reason. I'm sorry. Did you pay by credit card? If so, I have to deposit more money in our account for next month's withdrawal. I did. And I paid for everybody's drinks tonight. What? I couldn't let my coworkers pay. 
I would have understood if you had bought drinks for your colleague who's getting married. But why did you have to pay for all of your colleagues? Because most of them are younger than me. I don't look good if I don't pay for all of them. And how much was the bill? It was about $400. Come on. What are you doing? I'm sorry. It costed more than I expected. We should have gone to the bar during happy hour. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Why do you think I'm working all day and night sacrificing my sleep? I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. You did something similar last month. Did I? You did. You spent nearly $200 saying you went out for drinks with your friend last month. You bought a $300 jacket the other day. You said you'd do the chores, but you don't do them at all. Clothes are a necessity. You could have bought a cheaper jacket. I've been thinking. I'm the only one who's been cutting costs. You're the one who borrowed money. I'm just helping you out. Did you forget that? I didn't. I've been cutting costs, too. But I'd go crazy if I can't cut loose once in a while. Just don't splurge anymore. We don't have to suffer like this once we pay off the debt. Just be patient for two more years. Two more years? That's a long time. If you don't work with me, I won't work anymore either. I'll quit my part-time job. I got it. I'll try not to do it again. Don't get so cranky. Stop messing around. What's your problem? What? I'm just kidding. You don't need to be so upset. Steven! We paid off the debt! Oh, for real? It was sooner than I thought. We paid it off six months earlier than our goal. We really worked hard for the past two years. We really did, didn't we? You still splurge sometimes, but that's not what matters. We should be happy about having paid off the debt. Yeah. I want to talk to you about something on this occasion. I wanted us to go on a trip together for the first time in a while. What a coincidence. There's something I wanted to tell you too. Is there? You go ahead then. I want a divorce. What? A divorce? Yes, I want to get a divorce from you. Why? We finally paid off the debt. We did pay off the debt, which means you're useless now. What do you mean? Do you still have no clue? <laughs> I made you work hard to pay off the debt. You're joking, aren't you? There's someone else. I'm going to get a divorce from you and marry her. What the? Are you serious right now? She's 12 years younger than you. She is so cute, unlike an old witch like you. She's been telling me to get a divorce, and I've been worried about what to do. Who are you calling an old witch? You're almost 40. You've been so naggish, and I've been so sick of you. I've been naggish because you didn't get yourself together. It's not like I wanted to be naggish. You're nagging again. Are you my mom? <laughs> I can't look at you as a woman anymore. I can't be with you. You said you liked older women before we married. How can you complain about it after all these years? I did like a mature older woman when I was younger. But now that I've gotten older, younger women catch my attention. <laughs> women should be fresh, you know? <laughs> Every woman ages. Plus, you don't earn much money. My new wife earns $2,000 a month. I don't need a low-earning old hag anymore. <laughs> Stop messing around. Have you got any idea how hard I've been hustling for the past two years? I've sacrificed my sleep and meals for work and have exerted myself. And you've been cheating on me with a young woman behind my back? Okay, okay. I had enough of your hardship stories. <laughs> you. I knew you were troublesome, but I didn't know you were such a scumbag. I wouldn't want a man like you even if you begged me. So you agree on a divorce? Don't take it back later. Yeah, I will divorce you. I will sign the divorce papers right now. So bring them to me. Oh, what should we do about the property division? I don't have any property to divide, though. <laughs> I will take my belongings with me, but I'll give you the furniture, the home appliances, and the apartment. It's a rented apartment, anyway. It saves me the effort to look for a new place. Move out ASAP, then. Throw out unnecessary things. You don't have to tell me. I know. Then our discussion is over. You said you wanted to talk to me about something, but I guess we're done talking now. We're getting a divorce anyway. I have nothing to tell you now. I'm going to file the divorce papers. Are you sure about this? 
You bet I am. <laughs> I don't want a low-earning old hag. <laughs> Just file those divorce papers. Okay, I will. I'm a free man now. Pack your bags and get out. I'll throw out your stuff if you don't do it soon. They accepted the divorce papers. Whew, that felt so good. Thank you. I'm moving out now. Huh? Why are you... Why are you thanking me all of a sudden? I meant... Thank you for breaking up with me. You would have taken all my money if we still had been together. I'm glad you told me about your affair and wanted a divorce. You only earn a tiny amount of money. <laughs> I don't want your money. <laughs> I haven't told you, but I got a new job and I'm earning a much higher salary. It's going to be over $5,000 a month. What? $5,000? You're totally happy with a woman who earns $2,000 a month, aren't you? Good for you. I wish you good luck. You're trying too hard. There's no way you got a job that pays $5,000 a month. I've worked every job I could in the past two years. I went on a lot of business trips to earn benefits. In fact, I had a fateful encounter on one of the trips. A fateful encounter? I had the opportunity to meet the executive of the parent company of the company I've worked for. There were a lot of mishaps at work, and the person in charge was completely useless. So I dealt with the problems instead. Then the executive recognized my ability to work and hired me. Stop being delusional. The executive of a large corporation would never recognize your ability. I don't care if you believe me or not, but it is a fact that my life is going to improve. I'm going to quit my current job by the end of March and move to New York. To New York? The company is located in Manhattan. You've always dreamed of living in New York. Too bad you can't realize that dream. You can't move there with me after getting a divorce. I'm not jealous. What good things could happen if an old hag like you moves to New York? Your best years as a woman has long gone. New York is not only a place for young people. There are a lot of fun things to do for people my age. Well, it doesn't concern you anyway. Live happily ever after with a country girl in a small town. Who do you think you are making fun of me? Who do you think you are calling me an old hag? Look at you. Your grandpa. Don't you see that the joke is on you whenever you call me an old hag? You're a scumbag who does nothing but get into debt. Shut up. You can't even think of a word to talk back to me. It proves your lack of vocabulary knowledge that you can only think of a simple insult. I am so ashamed to have devoted myself to a bonehead even for a short time. Why didn't you tell me about your new job? You brought up a divorce before I could tell you. Is that what you were going to tell me? It was close. I'm so glad I let you talk first. If I told you this, you wouldn't have told me about your affair or brought up a divorce. I got out of taking a good-for-nothing asshole to New York with me. I should throw out unnecessary things when I move. You... Idiot! You're lower than me, whom you've always looked down on. Wait for a second. You were headhunted because I borrowed money? Give me some of your earnings. You're undoubtedly dumb. Do you actually believe I would say yes? I already sent all my belongings to my apartment, by the way. Feel free to welcome that young country girl to your home anytime. Wait, Amanda. You still love me, don't you? Don't be stupid. There's no way I still love you. You're just mad because I cheated on you. I'll break up with that girl, so do you want to get back together with me? I'm good. Go ahead and marry that girl. I know that any woman who takes someone else's man is a hoe. She's a perfect girl for you. I hope you live happily ever after with a hoe who has nothing but youth. A year after Stephen and his girlfriend married, they were drowning in debt. As it turned out, they were both extravagant spenders. This time, there was no one to save Steve's skin, and they were on the edge of bankruptcy. Steven contacted me to ask for help. He asked me to lend him money, but I refused him without a second thought. His new ex-wife dumped him and disappeared from him. She turned out to be a hoe, just as I thought. On the contrary, I have changed dramatically since my new life started. 
I have lost weight, changed my makeup and hairstyle, and started putting on nicer clothes. There are many beautiful women around the age of 40. Those women also enjoy fashion, work, and romance. I decided to be one of them. My life starts here. Now. Hey, Lisa. Do you have a minute? I want to ask you something. Oh, hi, Brody. How was work? You said you had to work overtime this whole week, right? Aren't you busy today, too? Are you okay? I'm okay, but never mind that. Lisa, where are you right now? What? Now? At home, as usual. Don't I always tell you? I'm always patiently waiting for you to come home. I'm such an admirable wife. Oh, you always do that. Even when I work late, you always wait at home for me. Obviously. I'm your wifey. Even though you married into my family, we're happily living together, just the two of us. I'm really happy with my life with you. I used to be happy too. I wonder if we would have been happy forever if I didn't know this. What? What happened all of a sudden? Have you started writing poems? No. Lisa, are you hiding something from me? Hiding something? Um, I wonder what it is. Oh, could it be that I ate your yogurt while you were saving it in the fridge? Are you still mad? What? I'm sorry, Brody. I was just a little hungry. I couldn't help myself. But I went to the store and bought some lots of more after that. Don't be so mad at me. Do you really think I would nag you about that? What? That's not it? Then I wonder what it is. I can't think of anything else. It's about the person you're with right now. Huh? You're not at home right now, are you? You're meeting a guy, right? What are you talking about? What's gotten into you, Brody? Are you being delusional? Are you worn out from work? Of course not. I've been lying about working late all week. I was finding out information so I could catch you cheating. What? Brody, you were lying to me? That's horrible. That, that's not the problem right now, is it? You were lying to me and cheating. And that's the first thing that comes out of your mouth? Not an apology? Uh, no, that's just... Because you lied to me and said you were working late. You too. You said you were waiting at home for me every day. But you were having a relationship with another guy. Now you want to blame me. Well, I did nothing wrong. I was lonely. You were lonely. So you think that gives you the right to do whatever you want? Well, not really. Um, sorry, Brody. There really was a time back when you were too busy with work to pay attention to me. I felt lonely. Huh? Just because you're lonely, it's okay to cheat? No, it's not. I'm really sorry, Brody. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. I've really learned my lesson. So please forgive me. Fine. But you really hurt me. So it can never happen again. Of course. I'm really sorry, Brody. It's fine. You apologized. I just want to move forward from here. Thank you. I've chosen to live my life from now on only for you. I'm going home now. Let's have dinner together, okay? Yeah, let's do that. I'm already home, so you be safe. Okay. Then I'll see you at home. Lisa? Hey, Lisa, are you out somewhere? Oh, hey, Brody. How is work? Sorry, I'm going to be gone for a few days. What? What do you mean, gone? You never said anything about that. Yeah, I know. A good friend called this afternoon out of the blue. She asked me if I wanted to go on a trip with her. So, I'm on a trip with her. That's really sudden, don't you think? That's a little... Brody, are you mad? I know, going on a trip all of a sudden... You're always working so hard. Sorry. 
No, I'm not blaming you for going on a trip. I'm talking about not telling me anything. Like texting me if you decide on going on a trip. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just got a little carried away with getting ready for the trip. I wasn't thinking about you at all. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize that much. By the way, who are you traveling with? If it's a good friend, they came to the wedding, right? Yeah, um... They actually didn't come to the wedding. They had plans that day. Oh, well, it's a girl, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Brody, are you doubting me again? No, it's not like that. I just thought I would check. I hope you have fun on your trip. Thanks, Brody. I knew you would say that. I'm sorry, I can't do the housework for a few days. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm tired from the day, so I'm going to sleep. Oh, of course. Sorry. I'm going to eat now, too. Good night. Hey, Brody. I'm coming home tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you. When you say you're looking forward to seeing me, you don't really mean that, do you? Isn't it true that you don't want to come home? What? What's wrong? Wait, did you get lonely because I wasn't there? You were cheating. Cheating. What? B Brody, why all of a sudden? What do you mean cheating? Hate to say it, but I checked your laptop. The conversations with your secret lover and the booking confirmation emails. A lot of evidence came out. What? Wait, you look through my laptop? So you don't deny it. So it's confirmed, you were cheating. <laughs> so what? It's fine. You got the privilege of getting married to me. I got the privilege? What's that supposed to mean? You married into this family. You get to take my dad's company one day. You should let the cheating slide one or two times. Cheating slide one or two times. <laughs> what the heck? Since I'm the son-in-law, I should just forgive you and your cheating? You don't want to be my dad's successor? You get to be the president of such a big company. I get to marry my dad's favorite, and you get to become the president. I think that benefits the both of us, doesn't it? So don't make such a fuss over my cheating. Just leave it alone. What kind of attitude is that? So that's your real personality. You're the dumb one who hasn't figured it out until now. Oh gosh. It was really exhausting playing the good girl. You used to listen to everything I said in the beginning. But recently you've been such a pain. You'd ask me about my affair. Of course I would. My own wife is cheating on me. Son-in-law or not, it doesn't matter. Um, don't you understand? If I break up with you, your path to being president is cut off. You might not even be able to stay in my dad's company. That's okay with you? So now you're going to threaten me? Oh my god, you're so cute. You just do as I say. You do as I say, and just stay quiet. If you do that, your future is secured. You can handle that, can't you? I I've had enough. It was stupid of me to try to reason with you. Yep, just stay quiet like that. From now on, what to do? I will get a divorce. You just try not to let that happen, okay? Hey, Brody. You're finishing up work now, right? Text me back as soon as you get this. I just finished. Oh, great timing. I hate to break it to you, but my boyfriend is over right now. <laughs> so can you not come home today too? Since tomorrow's your day off, just stay at a hotel or something. Again. You've been having him over every day now recently. Don't you think anything of it? About what? This is my dad's condo anyways. I get to choose how I use it. 
That doesn't make cheating okay. My gosh, you're so... Gosh, you're so annoying. You married into this family, so you have no right to say anything. If you want, we can get a divorce, though. Are you sure? <laughs> then let's get a divorce. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean, let's get a divorce? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Besides, you were the one who brought it up. I can't handle this situation anymore, so divorce is fine. Wait, wait, what are you saying? You're just a son-in-law. You're my dad's successor, remember? If you divorce me, you're in trouble. I don't really care anymore. You might even be fired? If you're divorcing me, that's never going to be allowed. I don't care if I get fired. There are plenty of other jobs out there. But working with your dad was fun. So that's the one regret I'll have. Are you being serious? You finally have a chance to be the president of a company. You're letting it go? Excuse me, who do you think you are? You're the one who cheated and then brought up getting a divorce. I'm saying let's get a divorce, so you should be okay with that. I mean, I know, but I'm fine with getting a divorce too. But don't say anything to my dad, okay? I don't want things to get ugly. Don't say anything? Like, you know, the fact that I was seeing another guy. You seeing another guy. You don't have to say anything. Just get a divorce already. You don't have to tell me twice. I already have the divorce papers and I'm going home to pack my things. Can you sign the papers while I pack? Wait, now? Hey, Brody! What the heck is this? Hey, are you listening? Don't ignore me! Answer me! We're already divorced. I don't think there's any need to keep communicating. I don't care about that! More importantly, what's this that just arrived? What do you mean, alimony? Why do I have to pay that? And seventy-five thousand dollars! That's just crazy! What's so crazy about it? I now know everything. So I talked to my lawyer and I had him give me an estimate. And it came out to be seventy-five grand. I can't pay that kind of money. I quit my job at my dad's company when I got married to you. I don't give a damn. If you have time to make excuses, pay up. This is crazy! Fine, then I'll have my dad cover the alimony. You could have taken over the company if you had just kept your mouth shut and played husband. He's already abandoned you. What? Abandoned? What are you talking about? Your dad, who you've been relying on all this time? You intend on having him pay for the $75,000 alimony? Didn't you know your dad's cut you off? What do you mean? How do you even know this? What do you mean how? What do you mean how? He told me in person. He said, I don't consider her my daughter anymore. Even if she were in trouble, I swear I'll never help her. You had it coming. You cheated and did unthinkable things. Now your own parents have abandoned you. Daddy abandoned me? That would never happen. He's always listened to me. When I told him that we were getting a divorce because of your cheating, he lowered his head and started to cry and said, My daughter has done an unthinkable thing. Please forgive me. What? My dad apologized and you didn't forgive him? That's horrible! What are you talking about? I was never mad at your dad to begin with. You're the one who should be apologizing. Uh, that's true, but... I let you marry me. 
It should have been fine since you were going to be president. Oh my gosh, you really don't think you did anything wrong. I'm so glad you're disgusting from the bottom of my heart. This way, I have no regrets about getting divorced. Don't get on my nerves. Getting all cozy with my dad. Oh, by the way, the condo that you think you're so entitled to live in, your dad terminated the contract. What? What do you mean? Wasn't the contract under your dad's name? Your dad said he terminated the contract when we got divorced. So, you only have a week left to live there? One week? Wait, that's too short! Also, he said that he would never again support you financially. So, good luck on your own from now on. Wait, don't say that. I can't do that. You can and you will. But you'll be fine. You have lots of guys. Why don't you ask them for help? Well, I guess they can't help you either since they have their hands full with alimony too. No! Well, goodbye for real this time. Just to let you know, I will never let you get away from paying alimony. Lisa contacted every one of her boyfriends to ask if they would pay her alimony for her, but couldn't get in touch with a single person. Lisa then rented out a 50-year-old apartment room since she had no savings, and is now working every day. It looks like she has her hands full trying to pay off her debt and make a living, which doesn't leave her a whole lot of time for messing around with guys. As for me, I still work at my ex-father-in-law's company. I was glad to hear that I wouldn't be let go. I'm just glad to finally be out of the living hell I was going through with my ex-wife.